Now I'm going to do the YouTube version, the shorter version, on attachment. Okay. When I tell you guys that you've got to lose attachment, especially when it comes, I think you get that you can't be attached to money and the job and all that stuff. I think that's easy for most of you. That I shouldn't have to go into. Where you guys get stuck is with people. Okay? And I think you misunderstand the concept here. Because you're human and you get attached to the meaning of words. When I talk to you guys, 90% of the time, I'm talking vibrationally. Not physically, vibrationally. So when I tell you that you have got to stop being attached to people, what I mean by that is you've got to not need people. You can't need your children. You can't need your parents. You can't need your lover. I do not mean that you've got to stop feeling for people. By, by not being attached to them, I don't mean that I want you to leave them, uh, move away from them, stop feeling for them. As a matter of fact, it's kind of the opposite. What I want you to do is I want you to take those people that you feel the strongest love for, okay, the strongest love for, your soulmate, your children, your parents, your dog, your cat, whatever, whatever being that you feel the highest, most unconditional, total and complete blissful love, whatever being that is, and I want you to not be attached to that love being only for that person, place, or thing. <laughs> Mostly it's person or animal. That's the attachment I'm talking about. So what I want you to do is I want you to take that love, your highest love, the love you're the best at, and now I want you to not use the attachment with the person, as in, well, this love is only for my child, my lover, my mother, my dog, my best friend. No. Now I want you to take that love and apply it to everyone and everything else. I don't want you to pull away from those people. Quite the opposite. I want you to bring every... I want you to love the clerk at the grocery store just exactly with the same kind of love, pure, unconditional love you have for your child. I want you to love the serial killer with the exact same kind of love you feel for your child. I'm not talking about being unattached from the fine top of the end love. What I'm talking about is not being attached to that person or that handful of people, or that one person, of being the only one that gets that love from you. That that level of love, you should be giving to every other being and entity on this planet, on every dimension, on every layer, period. That there is a lack of judgment of saying, okay, well, you're my child, so you deserve unconditional love, but you're a killer, so you don't deserve it. That's the attachment I'm talking about. That's the judgment I'm talking about. That's what has to stop in order to get to 5D. And only to get to 5D. You don't have to do any of it if you want to stay in 4D. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't. But to get to 5D, you cannot have a judgment of this person, place, thing, event, being deserves more love, <clears throat> more love than another being. You cannot say, well, humans deserve this kind of unconditional love, but plants and animals deserve this kind because they're lower. Nope. Nope. Everything, you cannot have judgment between the plants and animals and human beings, or plants and animals and your mother, your lover, or your child. That's where the judgment goes away. Nope, no judgment. No attachment to this person deserves more of this kind of love than anybody else. That's the attachment I'm talking about.
You don't have to pull away from the people that you love. Absolutely not. The, the only reason you would pull away from anyone is if they're lowering your vibration. And that needs to be a deal of attachment and judgment as well. Because you need to be able to say, okay, if they're your lover, your child, or your, or your uh, parent, if they lower your vibration, you have to understand, again, just like the other end of the spectrum, these are beings, these are entities playing roles. These are not really your children, your parents, or your lovers. This is a being playing the role of that. <clears throat> and if a being, <clears throat> if you are on a timeline where a being is lowering your vibration, you need to remove yourself from them or you need to go to a timeline where they are no longer lowering your vibration. And that's up to you, not them, you. Okay? So the judgment and attachment has to do with that don't judge an attached because you have an understanding. You don't attach overly and, and develop this need. And you don't judge because you understand that these are all entities playing a role. Whether it's a human, whether it's a plant, whether it's a ghost, whether it's an animal, whether it's an elemental, doesn't matter. These are all entities that we are all one, we are all gods, we are all entity gods playing roles. Okay? Then you come back into it, and on the high end, you don't need that love that you have because it's unconditional, right? <laughs> this child that you love, it's unconditional. You don't need the love because if you needed it, that'd be a condition, and it would no longer be unconditional. But let's say you actually have unconditional love or even high conditional love to some beings on this planet. Whether well, family, friends, lover, animals, whatever, plants, whatever. You have this level of love. What I'm saying is there cannot be a separate attachment to those beings and say, oh, okay, they deserve love on this level and everything else does not. What you're doing is you're attaching to certain beings and saying, okay, you get this. Now I'm judging that everybody else gets this. And what I'm saying is that judgment and that attachment must go away and your highest level of love has to spread to every other being, entity, life force here so that they eventually become equal. That you no longer are with somebody. In 5D, you're not with somebody because you love them more than somebody else because you love everything the same. You're with somebody because you have common interests and you think you'll have cool experiences together. That's how come you're with somebody. It's the reason why you have a relationship, why you have sex with them, why you have children with them in 5D. It's not because you love them more than anybody else. Because in 5D, you don't have that kind of attachment. You don't have that kind of judgment. You don't have that kind of need at all. It's not based on how much you love somebody. The love is equal across the board. It's because you find that you're going to have interesting experiences. You're drawn to do the same things with that being, with that person. That's what causes you to have a relationship in 5D. Okay. Does that make sense? Alrighty then. Hopefully that clarified some of the attachment judgment issues when it comes to people that you love. All right? All right, guys. Huge hugs. Love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Oh, by the way, um, awesome job. It looks like groups are kind of going to the website, some on Skype calls, some on, uh, what else, WhatsApp. So, all you some on uh, um, Nice Family Collective channel. All of you have kind of, kind of divided up, going different directions, and that is perfectly fine. What you're doing is you're going with groups that are vibrating similarly, some of you are in a couple of these groups, and that is perfectly fine. All right? Perfectly fine. To be expected with these, these vibration jumps. All right? So you just stay with the group that feels good to you. Keep on a raising, being happier and happier. And uh, I'll see you on one or more of these places. I pop in and out of 
a lot of them. You never know where I'm going to be, except YouTube and my website. Well, my website, pretty consistently, that's, that's my vibes. But I pop in and out of the other ones from time to time. All right? <laughs> okay, guys. Huge hugs. I'll talk to you later. And, uh, yeah, bye now.